Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to our regular scheduled work session for October 18th, 2021, here at the Shelter House at 6 p.m. Good evening, Mr. Bridge. Hi. Council and our host audience. Mr. Bridge will be filling in for Ms. Bernard tonight. Can you call the roll, I would love to. Uh, Mayor Lowry. Yes, I'm here. Uh, Councilman Grimm. I'm here. Councilwoman Eagleston. Here. Councilwoman Nowakowski. Yeah. Uh, Councilman Cobb. I'm here, Ms. Bernard. Thank you so much. I got my hair cut, so I look a little different. You know, it happens, it happens. And uh, Councilman Rodewald. Here. And Vice Mayor Booker. Here. All present, Mr. Mayor. Thank you very much, sir. And moving on, tonight's invocation will be done by Vice Mayor Cook. If you will, bow your heads. Our Heavenly Father, please guide us tonight as we try to do the business for the citizens of the great city. Please provide the protection for our first responders, our EMTs, our medics, our firefighters, and our deputies. And with that, in God's name, we pray. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Moving on here, uh, action on the minutes will be done in regular session, communications none, uh, so the manager's report will be done in regular session, comments on the minutes. Oh. All right, moving on, key reports none, uh, resolution ordinances will be handled, handled under other business. So now we will get uh, under regular session, I'm sorry, in regular right session. Uh, other business, legislation discussion, Mr. Bridge. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mayor. So we got three ordinances. They're all three for introduction tonight. So they'll be voted on at the November 1st meeting. So we have ordinance 2021-38. That is an ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract for liability insurance with USI Insurance Services, LLC, representing the public entity pools of Ohio for the administration of said policy. We also have ordinance 2021-39. That is an ordinance approving the editing and inclusion of certain ordinances as part of the various components codes of the codified ordinances providing for the adoption and publication of new matter in the updated and revised codified ordinances and repealing ordinances in conflict thereof. And we also have ordinance 21-40. That is an ordinance amending chapter 1246 of the codified ordinance of the city of New Carlisle, Ohio regarding policy. If you give me a minute, I'll go back through, through these and explain a little bit more in detail. Uh, 21-38, the liability insurance, that's our general housekeeping one we do every year. That is for our liability insurance. If you had time to look over the legislation, I think for the fourth year in a row, we've seen a decline. I think this year it reduced by like $900. So that's a good, good thing to see. Um, so we're excited about that. Uh, the ordinance approving is 21-39, the very wordy one. That is from our code update that we did. So every few years, uh, we will send the uh, amendments that council had made to the code and send it to American Legal so they codify that and put it online. Um, after this year, I will be sending them as you guys do it, since a lot of our codes, a lot of people use the online codes nowadays and actually getting printed ones. So we're just gonna, every time you guys make a change, we're gonna send it right to them so it's updated in a timely manner. Yep. So again, that's pretty much a yearly thing, uh, although we didn't do it and we haven't done it since 18. So 18, 19, and 20 have been updated, and I'm gonna be sending them 2021 stuff here shortly. Um, and the code just requires that to be done like every five to eight years. So that's something we'll have to change. Um, and we have ordinance 21-40. That is an ordinance amending the chapter 246 I read earlier. Um, so what we wanna to suggest to council with this particular legislation piece is, we all know that we have a hard time getting volunteers to serve on certain boards. Um, pretty much we've seen that in the last couple years. Prior to that, we really didn't have much of an issue. So right now, our Board of Zoning Appeals will be down to one member. That is not a quorum, they cannot even meet. So we have two of the main boards in our city that actually rely on a lot of meetings, and that is our Planning Board and our BZA. They actually would do a lot of stuff that would um, keep business flowing. So what the legislation states, if approved by council, in the event that they cannot meet due to lack of quorum or not enough members, that we could bring those cases to you guys and you guys could hear them. Let's just say that we have a resident on Drake that wants to put a accessory structure in and he needs a setback, a variance on a setback. Right now, his project would be delayed until a board was set, and that's not fair to him. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna bring it to you guys and let you guys vote on the matter. And that's all for the legislation. Awesome. 
Yeah. Council, any questions, comments, feedback, all the above? Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's what we strive for. Yes. It's the time to live in. And it is. Excellence. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Any other topics council cares to discuss? All right. With that being said. Is there a way that we can discuss some things that's on the city manager report to save time? Or do you I would, I I would recommend that. If you'd like to, yes. Okay, so one of the first oh. things that's not, oh, okay. No, but, do you need to take the motion off the floor to adjourn, or how's that work? Well, let me actually, before we move forward, if we're going to discuss it, we're going to go over it again in the next meeting, because if there's people that show up in the regular session for those types of items that are in the rest of the um, going to save time. Yeah, I think, I'd rather you not miss a larger group of people than that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I think some of them. Um, one of the things we can talk about, though, is the regular session, I mean, the work session timing. If we oh. want to go get rid of that, maybe just start regular sessions at 6. Yeah, okay. So we, we, we can't do, okay. Do I need to write that down? Oh, I got to, I got to, you guys got to vote on that, right? Uh, no. Nope, okay. All right, so one of the things I've been talking about um, before I was out for a little bit was the, um, how we have the six o'clock and the seven o'clock meeting. And one of the things I would like to maybe recommend to council is just start the regular meeting at six and battle through it and see where we end up. Instead of having two separate meetings, we can do some discussion in regular session that we can do in work session and just start it at six. So that's where my head is at that. Just the same, over, save everyone some time. Yeah, I like it. Some of these longer meetings might get out a little earlier. Yeah, you might. I, my, my biggest concern is that I think six is a little early to expect members of the public to be able to be here easily. Six early, two yeah. early? But started at six, they can, they can have a late dinner twice a month. Versus me. Or we could dinner. provide dinner. <laughs> That's Steak, costly. Mashed potatoes. I mean, we're going to do it. We're doing fillets, man. <laughs> At least us. I mean, some of the things you guys should look at is how many parents actually come that have kids. I mean, we don't have a large audience usually for these, and really it would help your administrative staff because we're, you know, a lot of us are here all day. And it helps your folks that actually work an eight hour day. So I think there's a lot that goes into it. But we don't have a lot of people who kind of shows up, and that changes down the road. Maybe look at it again. That's what I said. We can always go back. We can always test the waters and see mm -hmm. how it goes. Maybe. No, that's good. What do you think, Mr. Cobb? Hmm? What do you think? I'm just here for a short time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, 630 then. 630? Uh, we'll have to deal with that in a regular session. If yeah, if I'm going to make a note of it, work session. Oh, it is? Okay. No longer. Got an email way back from Not That's up to you guys. I didn't, I, didn't see I didn't see it though, but they usually set that at the end of the last meeting, don't they? There's a rotating schedule there. Um, oh, they did, and that's probably why they're sitting out there. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, what day? What day is it on, Mr. Grimm, Councilman Grimm? Uh, we're usually on January 31st. We're usually the next to host that Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I don't care. It was sent on October 11th. It was sent October 11th? Yeah. yeah. Was I copied in on it? No, it was across the Who was it from? Thank you, John. Yeah. 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 
Uh, yeah, I did, I did got it right here. Okay. Would you like me to? Would you, yeah, I mean, it's okay that? with me as council. I have a problem with us hosting. I think we normally do when council hosts. So, so 131, 22, 24. Um, I think we should, we can talk about the veterans banners because I don't think that's going to have an impact on the regular session. Just get you guys updated with that. So, um, before I was out, I had a short discussion with Chrissy Smith. She informed me and I think I let Mr. Cook know this in a conference, by and just some side note of a conversation. Uh, the vendor she uses is having difficulty getting material. And another vendor she has is like four times the amount of money is going to be. So um, I was meant, meant to have a meeting with her uh, earlier last week, but you know, the events unfolded the way they did. So I'm going to be meeting with her. And then once I have that second meeting with her, I'll come back to you guys and you guys can decide how you want to move forward. Um, but if it's going to be $300, $400 for a banner, I don't know if we're going to have much luck getting people to sign up for them. But um, I'll get my options and then come back to you and you guys can let me know how you want to move forward with it. Yep. Anything else? Uh, I think the rest will just wait to regular session. It's not going to take too long, except for maybe the last discussion. But other than that, it should take relatively not a lot of time. Okay. Mr. Roosevelt, is it possible to interview they Mr. Mooney during the work they session? They for, I, mean, I think it's got to be done regularly. Yeah. Because you know, there's any type of note. Well, yeah, it's got to be done. Okay. Sir, Mr. Bruce, how are we coming along with Mayor's Court? Um, I got to update that for city manager's report, but I'll give you a synopsis. Um, we just got the laptop in, so um, Bridge Group is going to be getting this. Uh, I have to order the software, get that installed. Uh, tickets are about a month out from when I order them. Uh, so um, I, I would love to say it's going to be November 15th, but I, I don't know. We just got to get the prop. As soon as we get the tape, the appropriate stuff to go, then you'll let you know. We'll let you know. Yep. But getting things, anything delivered is taking a little bit more time than usually. Well, it's under, you can, but it's under, it's under, it's under, it's under I know it's under a new business, but I think that's going to be a lengthy discussion, but of course, there's some of us are going to have to abstain. Right. Uh, what's the count? Is Mr. Kraybacher coming to regular session? Is anyone coming? Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think he said he was. I'm yeah, sure he he's was. coming. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything else? And we do have a little bit more information we can share with you. I don't. I don't think it's going to take too long of the discussion with the information we found since the last time we talked to you guys. Okay. All right. Excuse me. Motion by Ms. second by Mr. Green. All right, Eggleston, Grimm. Yes, sure. So will Councilwoman Nowakowski? Yes. Councilman yeah. <laughs> Councilman Rogwald? Yes. Vice Mayor Cook? Yes. Mayor Lowry? Yes. Councilman Grimm? Yes. And Councilwoman Eggleston? Yes. We are adjourned at 614. We'll see you at 7. <laughs>